Welcome everyone. So in this video, we will be studying about the total product, marginal product and average product of the variable factor. So this is your production function that is function of labor or capital. Here only two factors we are taking. Labor is the variable factor we are taking. K that is capital is constant that is fixed factor as we have one fixed factor in this so this is a short run so let's understand what is total product total product is the sum total of output of each unit of the variable factor used in the process of production. Let's say your production function is you are using 5 labor units and you have 4 that is your capital and you are getting an output of 40 and then you increase your variable factor that is from 5 to 6 here. your fixed factor is constant and you are having 45 output so by increasing one units of variable factors your output has increased from 40 to 45 so if you are using 6 units of labor you are having 45 as your total output if you are using 5 labels you are having 40 units of total output so the sum total of the output that you get from increasing each unit of variable factor if we say now we have used 7 labels and your capital is constant you get let's say 48 of total output so this is your total output in the case of variable factors your variable units are 5, 6, 7 and you keep on increasing you will be increasing your total product so this is your total product next you will be studying your marginal product or you call it as your variable product see what we had the production function of 5 labors and 4 was your constant capital you had 40 output 40 total product then 6 labors and you had 45 of total product then you increase your labor units you have 48 as your total product so from here to here by increasing one unit of variable factor you have increased 5 units of total product there is change of 5 units and then increasing one additional unit you have a three units of additional product so this additional product that you get from you using one additional unit of variable factor in your production function this is your marginal product so your marginal product is the additional output attributed to an additional unit of the variable factor other factors remaining constant 
so this is what it says that by using one additional unit of your variable factor what is the change in your total product the additional output that you contribute by changing one additional unit of variable factor that is your marginal product so the formula to calculate your marginal product is total product of n unit minus total product of n minus 1 unit here nth unit let's say is this 45 and what is the n minus 1 term 40 so 5 is your marginal product this is same as your marginal utility that you calculated in your consumer uh, unit so this is same how you calculate your marginal product now what is your average product your average product refers to physical output per unit of the variable factor used in the process of production what is the per unit output let's say this is a production function five labor four capital is the constant you have 40x so in this case you have 40 by 5 that gives you 8 is your average product let's say fixed your 6 let's say 48 so 48 by 6 units of your variable factor gives you 8 that is your average product right so in this way you can calculate your average product now let's do one example of to find out the total product average product and marginal product this is the example and this you are given your variable factor that is labor right your total product you have to find out your average product and the marginal product so let's first of all find out the marginal product what is the marginal product is your tpn is tpn minus 1 so here you are calculating the marginal product of 1 units of labor 50 minus 0 will give you 50 90 minus 50 is 40 then 120 minus 90 is 30 140 minus 20 is 20 150 minus 140 is 10 150 minus 150 gives you 0 147 minus 150 gives you minus 3 so this is the marginal product how you calculate now let's calculate the average product 50 divided by 1 is your 50 90 divided by 2 is 45 then 120 divided by your number of variable factors used that is 340 140 divided by 4 will give you 35 150 divided by 5 will give you 30 then 150 divided by 6 give you 25 and 147 divided by 7 will give you 21 so this is how you calculate your average product and marginal product from your total revenue and your variable factor given to you I hope you like the video. If you haven't downloaded our app, please download our social scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.